it's safe to say that there are enough films aping Martin Scorsese's style to justify an entire subgenre. So far, my favorite one of those kinds of movies is probably Kill the Irishman. But now that I've seen it, American Maid ranks pretty high too. American Maid gives us a crazy pilot named Barry Seal and shows him going deeper and deeper into the world of drug smuggling and political corruption. It's also based on a true story, but like any movie based on a true story, don't expect complete historical accuracy. When it comes to the movie, it's a pretty standard story of diving into an amoral world and then facing the consequences for doing so. The protagonist gets talked into doing something within his comfort zone, it leads to a lucrative opportunity, he succeeds on every level, only for the house of cards to slowly start to collapse. Sad to say, American Maid doesn't add anything too groundbreaking to the story structure, but then again, it doesn't have to. On a side note, I feel like people don't give Tom Cruise the credit he deserves regarding his acting talent. Even when he was a teenager, he was giving great performances on screen. And even today, he continues to give it his all whenever he's in a movie. He turns Barry Seal into a reckless dummy who's still smart enough to escape death, even if it's just by seconds. And really, Cruz has to carry this movie on his shoulders most of the time. We get some well-known character actors like Jayma Mays, Caleb Landry Jones, Donald Gleason, and Jesse Plemons, but the focus is always on Cruz. The movie portrays the politics of the 80s. Specifically, and I know I'm pronouncing this wrong, the Medellin drug cartel, and the Reagan administration's corrupt involvement in what was going on in South and Central America. Barry Seal literally flies through all these events as fast as he can, collecting piles and piles of money from both the cartels and the CIA at the same time. If even half of this story is true, then it's just one more piece of evidence against justifying the CIA's existence. People who have seen Lord of War, or half of Martin Scorsese's films, will know what to expect with this movie, but that doesn't mean you won't enjoy it. American Made takes a light-hearted look at a horrible chapter in human history through the eyes of an idiot. And I think that's what saves the movie for me. I was actually going to go into a long rant about how this film doesn't take anything seriously, which makes it seem frivolous and uncaring. We don't see the consequences of the world events that Barry Seal is a part of, and the stakes revolve mostly around his own self-preservation, which, I mean, he's a jerk, so who cares? But this movie is framed entirely from his perspective, and so that makes it work. Barry is ignorant on world events, so he's not up to speed beyond American Cold War propaganda. Yeah, I mean, that's how he grew up, so of course that's how he sees the world. And of course he's a single-minded guy who only th really thinks about his family when they're in danger, so they have a very small role in the film. And like a true hypocrite, he cares enough about his family's well-being to worry about them, but he doesn't care enough to stop doing all the crap that leads to dangerous people wanting them dead. American Made is entertaining. It's not brilliant or groundbreaking. It's good. I've seen movies that did a better job with this kind of story structure or the subject matter, but I still enjoyed watching this movie. Watch it if you can, but it's not a must-see.